Yesterday, NORAD confirmed uh, that an unidentified object uh, entered unlawfully Canadian airspace. Uh, it represented a reasonable threat to civilian aircraft, uh, so I gave the order to take it down. You may remember that our Prime Minister last weekend boasted on Twitter that he had ordered the takedown of an unidentified object over Canadian airspace. Probably not. It was American pilots and American jets from an American base that shot down an object that had inconveniently floated over Canada. But they detected it on their American air defense radar. And probably because we're in a North American air defense treaty with the American, somebody thought they should call Trudeau and see if it was okay if they blasted the thing out of the air. But he no more ordered the takedown than fly to the moon. And what this points out and what the other shootdowns over North America point out over the last two or three weeks is just how weak our military has become because the liberals will not supply them with the equipment they need. It's taken us years to buy new jets for jets that were ordered when Atari and Pong were the height of gaming technology. That's how old our CF-18s are. It took us years to decide on what new handguns to buy for our officers. Our tanks are in such disrepair that when the Ukrainians came looking for a few to help them defend themselves against the Russians, out of the 100 that we technically own, we could only cobble together four that would function by cannibalizing the other ones for spare parts. On issue after issue after issue with our military, the Liberals talk a big game. They like to be part of the international alliances, but they never do the things that are needed to keep our military strong. So you say, well, they, they ran on a promise of increasing peacekeeping. They're not really militaristic. Well, here's a little fact for you. Since the Liberals came to power in 2015, we have been on exactly one peacekeeping mission. One. That was in Mali, in Africa. And as soon as our commitment was up, we bugged out. The United Nations asked us to stay longer. No, 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 we have to leave. The Liberals have no commitment even to peacekeeping. Indeed, the Harper Conservatives authorized more peacekeeping missions for our armed forces than the Liberals have, despite all their sanctimonious campaign promises. And you want another example? Look at the Turkey-Syria earthquake and the recovery efforts that are going on now. We have a fantastic emergency response team. It's called DART, Disaster Assistance Response Team. It has medical and engineering expertise. It has field hospitals, instant bridges. It has all sorts of equipment that can be taken into a disaster area and very quickly get medical attention to the people who are in need and help the countries rebuild their infrastructure, their power, their roads, their buildings. The Liberals won't send it. And indeed, since 2015, for more than seven years since the Liberals have been our government, they have never once deployed DART. So, so much for the idea that they weren't going to be warmongers, but they would use our military for good and for peacekeeping. They haven't done either, and they've just allowed the equipment to deteriorate to the point where so much of our military now is weakened and useless. For Post Media, I'm Lauren Gunter. <laughs>